The Taiwan Technical Mission in PNG has been in the country since 2015. Under the mission is the project called Farmers for Cooperation. The project is a partnership program with Department of Agriculture and Livestock and the National Agriculture and Research Institute of PNG. The focus of the project is to help small-scale farmers improve their farming skills. The mission does this by conducting trainings and assist farmers with farming materials. Like seed, seed, also seedlings, like you can see the rice seeds. Yeah, uh, this time we uh, harvest the rice seeds and uh, also the vegetable seeds and also uh, like uh, green shade for nursery house. Yeah, we deliver those materials and improve the small scale farmers. These women are hired by the organization to work on this rice field. The rice originates from Taiwan and has been in the country for more than 15 years. What was planted and is now harvested is the variety called TCS10 long grain rice. A hectare of this rice field contains 3,500 kilograms that equates to 3.5 tons. Actually, we keep uh, two to three varieties, uh, TCS10, TY3, and... Uh, 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 TK67, but this time, uh, this season we plant the uh, TCS10. It's one of the variety from Taiwan and it's really suitable in Papua New Guinea. The rice is being removed from the branches using this machine. They would then be taken to this site where it will be dried for three days to be used as seeds to distribute to rice farmers. The project technician, Eric Ye Chung Huang, says. The training is not only for rice farmers, but also for farmers interested in other food crops and vegetables. But also like watermelons with corn and uh, uh, vegetable crops like bai cai and cabbage and uh, koi flower or uh, leeks. A field day would be organized next week to help small-scale farmers showcase and market their local produce. Julie Badui Oa. National MTV News, Lei.